When the kidneys fail, potassium shoots up. I'm Dr. Amber, and I'm going to quickly review the three hyperkalemia treatments you must remember when caring for clients with kidney failure on the NCLEX. 1. The fastest treatment is insulin and dextrose. In AKI and CKD, remember the kidneys can't excrete potassium, so the potassium levels build up. Insulin is used to pull potassium back into the cells, which can drop potassium levels within minutes. But remember, insulin also lowers glucose, so we always give dextrose with it to prevent life-threatening hypoglycemia. 2. Polystyrene sulfonate, or k exalate binds potassium in the gut and allows the client to excrete it in the stool. So it works slower than insulin and glucose, but it's actually removing the excess potassium from the body. And three, dialysis. When potassium levels are dangerously high or when nothing else is working, dialysis is used to directly remove potassium from the blood. So comment crash course below to learn more about AKI and CKD for NCLEX.